Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, this is the third lecture in a series of um, how um, trigonometric uh, functions behave in, uh, in case when the angle is one of the basic angles. Um, we were talking about basic angles in a general lecture when I introduced them. Um, it's right in the beginning of the trigonometry course. Um, and now I would like to basically calculate what exactly are the values of different trigonometric functions uh, when the angle is one of these basic values. Uh, now, today's uh, lecture is about tangent, and um, we do have um, lots of different basic uh, angles, and obviously I don't remember the value of tangent for all of them. Um, but what I do suggest to you is to be able to derive these values from the coordinates uh, of the points on the unit circle, which uh, represent these basic values. So that's exactly how I approach this problem. And uh, that's how I suggest you do it. So considering I don't remember much about um, exact values of trigonometric uh, functions. Um, what do I remember? Well, I remember actually very, very little. Something like if you have an angle of 30 degrees, then the opposite catechus in the right triangle is equal to half of the hypotenuse. That I do remember. Now. The other catheters I can really derive using the Pythagorean theorem. So if this hypotenuse is 1, we are talking about the unit circle, this catheter is 1 half, and if this is x, then x squared plus 1 half squared is equal to 1 squared, right? From, from here, x is equal to 1 quarter, 3 quarter, square root of 3 quarter is this. So I know that so my coordinates of this point are um, abscissa is equal to square root of 3 over 2 and coordinate is equal to uh, 1 half. And this is 30 degrees or p or, uh, pi over 6. That I know. Now, I also know something about 45 degrees. But in this case, again, I don't remember anything. I do remember that if one angle is 45, then another is 45, so these casualties are equal to each other. So what's their value if hypotenuse is equal to 1? Well, again, Pythagorean theorem. If casualties is x, then x squared plus x squared, the casualties are the same, right? Is equal to 1. From here, x is equal to square root of 2 over 2, which means square root of 2 over 2 comma square root of 2 over 2. Both abscissa and coordinate are coordinates at this point, which represents pi over 4, which is 45 degrees. And the third basic angle in the first quadrant is 60 degrees. Now, 60 degrees is basically, if you drop the perpendicular, this triangle is exactly the same as this triangle. Because if this is 30, this is 60. If this is 60, this is 30, right? So this particular catechus is equal to half of the hypotenuse, which is 1 half. And this one is equal to square root of 3 over 2. So the coordinate of this point would be this. And this is pi over 3 angle. So these are basic angles in the first quadrant. And using the, the coordinates of points which represent the basic angles, I can find out the value of the tangent, because the definition of a tangent, if you remember, is sine divided by cosine, or ordinate divided by abscissa. So I have to divide the second uh, member of the sequence by the first. OK, so it's very easy to calculate. Now let's go to the angles which I am asking you to calculate. These are angles in other uh, quadrants. Again, every one of them has three 
in the middle and one third. In the middle and one third. So, let's start. 2 pi over 3 is this one. 2 pi over 3. Now, look at this. This is 90 degree plus 30 degree, right? Because this is 120. It's easier this way. Now, this is also 30 degrees because it's 90 degree minus 60 degree. So these angles, this one and this one, are symmetrical relatively to the y-axis. Now, if the angles are symmetrical, I have proven this theorem in the beginning of this uh, course of trigonometry when I'm talking about when I introduced basic angles. So if angles are symmetrical, then these points are symmetrical relatively to the same y-axis. Now, if they are symmetrical relative to the y-axis, it means that their ordinates are the same because they're projecting into the same point on the y-axis, but their abscissas are opposite in signs, but the same in absolute value. So the coordinates of this point now are abscissa is the same, and uh, sorry, ordinate is the same, abscissa is uh, opposite sign. This. So, if I know this, what's the tangent of this angle? It's ordinate divided by abscissa. So it's minus square root of 3. That's it. Next. Next is 3 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, which is 135 degrees, and the coordinates of this, look at this symmetry. This is 90 plus 45, and this is 90 minus 45, which is 45. So these are symmetrical, so their ordinates are the same, and the abscissas are opposite in sign. So it's minus square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. So I replace the abscissa with an opposite sign, but retained ordinate. So what's the tangent, which is a ratio of ordinate over abscissa? It's obviously minus 1. Now, next, next is 5 pi over 6 which is 150 degree. And obvious symmetry is with 30. Because 30 is 90 minus 60, 150 is 90 plus 60. So the angles are symmetrical relatively to the y-axis, so these points are symmetrical. So the coordinates of this point are minus square root of 3 over 2, and one half. So the tangent would be minus, obviously, one over square root of three, or which is the same square root of three over three. Okay. Next I have pi, which is this one. And obviously since my origin is equal to zero, and abscissa is equal to minus 1, my tangent is equal to 0. Okay. Next one, minus pi over 6. It's this one. So it's minus pi over 6, which is minus 30 degrees. Well, now you can use both approaches. Number 1, um, you know from the properties of the tangent that this is an odd function, which means that the value of the tangent for minus pi over 6 is minus the value at pi over 6. From another perspective, these angles, plus 30 and minus 30, are symmetrical, which means these two points are symmetrical, in this case, relative to the x-axis, right? They are projecting to the same point, which means their abscissa is the same, 
but ordinates are opposite in sign, but um, equal in absolute value. So what's the coordinate of this point? Well, again, we retain the abscissa and change the sign of ordinate, which is square root of 3 divided by 2 over 2 comma minus 1 half. So what's the tangent? If you divide this by this, ordinate by abscissa, it's uh, minus, obviously, 1 over uh, square root of 3 which is the same as minus square root of 3 over 3. Next is minus pi over 4. Minus pi over 4, which is minus 45 degrees. Now, for minus 45 degrees, again, uh, uh, from the considerations of symmetry, you can say that abscissa is the same as in this case, but ordinate is different by sign. So it's uh, square root of 2 over 2 and minus square root of 2 over 2. And if you do the ratio ordinate uh, over the abscissa, it's minus 1. That's the tangent. Next is minus pi over 3, minus pi over 3, which is minus 60 degrees, obvious symmetry with plus 60 degrees, so the coordinates are 1 half. I retain the x and I change y coordinate to the opposite. And their ratio, uh, y coordinate over x coordinate is minus square root of 3. That's the tangent for minus pi over 3. Next is minus pi over 2, which is this one. The coordinates of this point are Abscissa is 0, uh, and ordinate is minus 1. Now, you cannot divide by 0. Tangent is not defined at pi over 2. Next, minus 2 pi over 3, which is here, which is minus 2 pi over 3, which is minus 120. Obvious symmetry is with plus 2 pi over 3. So I know this. So now I have to retain the abscissa and uh, change the ordinate to opposite. So it would be minus 1 half minus square root of 3 over 2. And their ratio would be minus and minus, so it would be square root of 3. Now this is 3 pi over minus 3 pi over 4 which is the same as minus 135 degrees. Now, the symmetry with this guy gives me... I have to retain abscissa and change the sign of ordinate. It's minus square root of 2 over 2, minus square root of 2 over 2, and the set the obvious ratio would be 1. So the tangent of this angle is 1. Uh, next is 5 pi over 6, which is this one. 5 pi, sorry. 5 pi over 6, which is uh, minus, which is minus 150 degree. Obvious symmetry with this guy is plus pi, uh, 5 pi over 6, and they have to change this, so it's minus square root of 3 over 2 minus 1 half. And the ratio is 1 over square root of 3, which is square root of 3 over 2. And minus pi is this point, exactly the same as before, so the ratio is 0. I have 0 here. So these are the values of coordinates of the points which represent basic angles. And based on the coordinates and the definition of tangent, which is uh, coordinate divided by abscissa, or if you wish, sine divided by cosine, which is the same thing. Based on this definition, I calculated the values of the tangent in each of these basic um, cases. Um, well, I will continue doing exactly the same for the other functions, so the next one would be cotangent. 
And um, well, that's it for today. That's it for tangent. Thank you very much.